All right, guys, we're going to take off the glasses here. Um, so, so it is Monday, February 28th, I believe, and uh, today today was huge. Um, I went, I took my bike and uh, completely went out. Um, I was doing the majority of my biking uh, through my neighborhood, but I never actually took it out. Um, so got on the actual uh, bike gear that I used to wear all the time previously before this and uh, got on well no I put on all the stuff I put on the helmet I basically loaded up the car put the actual bike rack on the car and uh, got everything all set up and I took the bike put it on the car and basically went out to my old training grounds uh, section of section of sidewalk so to speak I didn't really want to go on the road for the first time and uh, start with that but however I went on the sidewalk and wind was blowing it was blowing hard today and uh, it was so difficult just to uh, pedal um, if I was going backwards I w if I was coming back from basically where I started and I did about 12, 13 miles, uh, give or take, uh, my GPS location basically failed out. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll cut to, better yet, let's cut to, I, I did a little small clip and I had all my bicycle stuff on. And uh, so we'll go ahead and show it here. Okay guys, so it is, um, today is a special day. Today is um, October, no. Wow. Today is uh, February. It's February, uh, February 27th. Okay. So this, this is my very first time on the bike. I'm taking it back out. As you can see, I got all, all my wonderful shorts and whatnot. Uh, wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, basically putting everything on. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but it's not. Um, so this is, we're, we're less than almost two months in the foot. Um, will be in about another week and uh, we're about four months out from uh, actual surgery date and uh, Riding on the stationary bike has been fine. Um, I actually modified the bike to basically have a velcro pad to the point where I can um, I can basically keep the foot within the pedal so um, That's about it. So, you know train Go after it, and um, you know anything. Anything's possible. So uh, we're going to cut this video for now, and uh, we'll go on to the uh, daily, weekly uh, review. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye. And so basically, that was that was earlier this morning when I got everything all set up, and um, but nonetheless went on the sidewalk and. I was going, I was going about 20, 21 miles an hour, which is basically, that's normal for me. And it was, I mean, it was a blast. It was a gasp. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm out of shape, so to speak. And I mean, you sit for three months and you don't do anything and you're actually sitting on the couch. I mean, that's to be expected. Um, so don't get me wrong. I've been doing the exercise bike, but the exercise bike is completely different. Um, it's the most perfect ideal condition, so to speak. And when you eventually get out on the actual road, it's a whole, um, it's a whole different story. Um, but nonetheless, um, pedals, um, pedals. I heard horror stories of clip-ons. Um, I was having a huge problem in terms of getting inside the toe clip, which I'm sure I previously stated in another episode, but um, what I actually did is I took a piece of Velcro, okay, and I put a big piece, I got an industrial Velcro that holds up to 10 pounds, but long story short, I took a piece of Velcro and I actually molded it to the whole width of my shoe and uh, clipped I don't want to say clip, but then also on the actual pedal itself, I had to get a brand new pedal uh, because the one had the toe clip and it was just permanently fastened on there. So I had to get a new um, pedal so I could, I basically put um, the negative Velcro on the pedal and then I put a band of Velcro around my foot and I basically just smacked it on like that and it holds. Um, 
you have to get used to um, pulling the Velcro off as you're coming to a stop or what have you, but in event that you actually need to come out of the Velcro, it will let you go. Um, I didn't cake the whole bottom of the pedal because therefore, I mean, I wouldn't be able to get off of it. So, um, ugh, I apologize uh, for the yawning, but nonetheless, that's the way I was able to get the pedals going and stay on the pedal and uh, get everything going, but it was great. Um, it was... You know, I would have never thought in four months. It hasn't been that long. Um, I haven't even had my foot for two months. And we're washing clothes. <laughs> so, um, I never I never thought that I would be able to do all this within... It's just about two months with my prosthetic, but... It's, it's amazing, guys. Um, you know... As soon as you get your leg, I had to push myself. I had to push myself so hard. Um, I was in pain, God, almost every single day. And the biggest part that was the worst is that when I was starting to use my foot, it was I was pushing basically directly on the socket and putting the weight on there. And that that in itself was not. Um, it was it was pretty painful. And just getting through. The hurdles, the prosthetist, I'm going to keep on yelling. The getting, you know, the prosthetist on board with you and getting all those pressure points out and waking up every single day and going to physical therapy and, you know, making sure you bust, you know, you bust your butt and make sure you do everything that you can. I mean, none of this, none of this was easy. Um, it's pretty... It was it was pretty difficult, and I had to change so many things um, actually in my life. And um, just getting you know just getting to bed is a is a challenge. Um, getting getting the foot on in the morning. I mean, I basically walk out of bed. I put the foot on in the morning, and I have to walk around for 20, 30 minutes, and just to get the leg to sink in. And um, you know, whenever I do a bike like this, I have to come home. Take. I have to take the leg off, and I have to take a shower, and I have to put it back on, and then I have to go through the same stage that I did in the morning, and walk around with it, and hopes that my leg's going to sink in, and um, this is, you know, this is the new normal, um, until I actually get in the final socket and the leg's still shrinking, um, this is, this is it, this is what's actually going to happen, and um, you know what, and I'm not even sad about it. I'm not even upset about it. And But this, you know, I'm going to tell you guys, you're going to have to figure out what's in the new normal. And um, just just get used to it. It's not it's not bad. Um, I, I can't tell you how many stories and people that I've met now where they're doing more things than actual people that have two legs. And um, I think that's partially, I mean, in myself, that... I think it's partially because we want to go out and do those things, those select number of people that do, and we have to try so hard, and we have to be so versatile, and we just have to go with that extra step than what a normal person does, and you know what, we go out and we, you know, we succeed, um, we go out and do these things, and um, when I went in this four months ago, I knew what I wanted, where I wanted, um, so on, etc. And uh, no was not the answer. Um, no is basically um, someone giving up, so to speak. It's what can I do in order to um, challenge myself to do this. And it's, you know, there's so many things that can change in your life. And what I love the most is a saying that I've heard is when life gives you lemons, you make a lemonade. And I had, I had two crummy decisions and I, you know, I'll never know whatever happened if we decided to fuse it, but you know what, I can almost promise you I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm doing today. And, um, for better quality of life, it was, it was the best option and I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm sticking with it. And, you know, I, for the first time biking today, I didn't have any knee pain. I didn't have any hip pain. Um, it's just things 
are getting better and you just you just have to do your due diligence so i'll say this and uh, as a reminder you know when life gives you lemons you know you make lemonade and you figure out a way in order to take what was given to you and just roll with it and that's that's the most that i can tell you guys um so but until then it was a huge day guys um but until then Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you'd like. It doesn't do anything for me. However, it bumps my video up a little bit. So therefore, people like you can see my videos. And if you have any comment, go ahead and, you know, comment below. I answer uh, comments, questions, thoughts, ideas. And then if you want to go ahead and subscribe to this channel, I'm going to keep on building videos. So go ahead and hit that button. And uh, we'll see you every single video that gets added. But until then, everyone have a great night. We'll see you. Bye.